Hello YouTube and welcome to a video by the Unlucky Lads. This will detail the raid intel skips on Critical, Regular and Low for the raid starting on the 25th of April running through to the 1st of May, which is Project Titan Week 179. We hope you'll continue to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, or even gift us a slice of pizza using the link in the description below, because your support drives us to make these early raid intel videos, which allows you to quickly complete the raids and collect the black boxes as soon as the Project Titan week begins. Starting with Critical, the modifiers this week will be 1 Gun, 3 Hearts, and Technique Slowdown. And using the Intel skips you can begin by destroying the 4 panels at Satellite Dish. This will open up the circle for Bow at the Chemical Refinery, and beating this Tank Titan will allow you to head into Sector 2. For Gargoyle you will need 1 Intel for Titan Amiga at Missile Site Ruins, before you can defend the node at Salamander. Then you can head to Testing Zone to beat the Flying Titan. And for Supercomputer you just have to destroy 4 panels at Testing Zone. Then you can fight Quantum at the building in the sea. With both Gargoyle and Supercomputer defeated, you can advance into Sector 3. Cerberus requires 2 Intels at Prototype Workshop, before you head up to the Lava Shield to interrogate one guy and also grab one Intel. After that you'll need to press 4 nodes at Scandia Mine, before finally putting the password into the node at Red Phoenix. Doing all of that will open up the final Titan battle at the top of Lava Shield, where you can complete the Critical Raid. And if you're looking for the black boxes on Critical this week, there are two boxes in Sector 1, the first at Ancient Harbour, and the other is at Chemical Refinery. Then there'll be two boxes in Sector 2, the first is at Testing Zone, and the other is at Missile Site Ruins. And finally there's two more boxes in Sector 3, the first at Red Phoenix, and the other being at Prototype Workshop. In summary, the modifiers shouldn't be too much cause for concern this week, because a lot of players may not even notice the three hearts, and if they really are affecting you outside of a boss fight, you can always quit and rejoin to avoid the five minute wait. Past that, and depending on your playstyle, Technique Slowdown tends not to have much impact on the raid. And finally, one gun can be frustrating at times, but remember you can change your preset and weapons whenever you want, which is especially useful before a boss fight. As for the intel trail, it's certainly longer than last week, but by no means that bad, because the panels you need to destroy at Testing Zone are at a base you need to be at already anyway, and the intel in Sector 3 can be split reasonably well between the squad to save a bit more time. All in all, we predict this raid could be done in under one hour, but this is mainly for people that are trying to speedrun, and we understand that not everyone wants to do that. So if you do have any problems, please comment below and we'll try to help out, so that you can finish the raid and earn those rewards. Moving on to regular, and low, there are no modifiers and it does just use last week's critical intel and black box locations. This means you can start by destroying the three panels at Chemical Refinery, and then entering the arena there to fight Bao. After you win that fight you can head into Sector 2. Gargoyle requires three intels at Camp Salamander before interrogating the two redheads, one at Camp Phoenix and the other down at Missile Site Ruins. Once you've interrogated both guys you need to input the password into the node at Testing Zone where you can also fight the Flying Titan. For supercomputer on regular and low there is no intel required so you can just go straight to the quantum boss battle at the building in the sea to defeat it. With both titans destroyed, you can head into Sector 3. Cerberus just requires the hack and defend of the node at Scandium Mine. This will unlock the last titan battle at the top of Lava Shield, where you can complete the regular and low raids. And if you're looking for the black box raid chests on regular and low this week, there are two boxes in Sector 1, the first at Chemical Refinery, and the next at Heliport, then there'll be two boxes in Sector 2, the first at Salamander, and the other at Missile Site Ruins, and finally there's two more boxes in Sector 3, the first at Scandia Mine, with the other being at No Man's Land. That's all for now, we hope you've enjoyed our Intel and Black Box video enough to leave a like and comment, plus subscribe or give some pizza if you haven't already. But no pressure, because it's all of this support combined that really does motivate us to make our content. So until next time, peace out, the unlucky lads.